Hello, it's Alexandra J with Clean TV, and today we have two extraordinary guests, Gay and Katie Hendricks, who are two of the world's leading experts in creativity and relationships. They have an amazing, incredible, thriving, flourishing, incredibly <laughs> succulent, delicious <laughs> relationship for the last 30 years. So, uh, Let's dive in and tap into their amazing wisdom. <laughs> All right. <Yeah. laughs> now I feel thoroughly heated up. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Just being in the presence of you is, is a heat provoking. So I would love to hear your how you met mm -hmm. and just that journey of the beginning of relationship and some of your challenges and just how mm -hmm. you how you evolved with that. Well, I guess the story really starts in December 79, which is a little over 30 years ago. And um, I had just had a big wake-up realization where I had this realization that I always messed up relationships the same way. And I had this big insight that I always messed it up by not telling the truth about something. Um, or the other person could be doing the same thing, but I was focusing on my end. I would not tell the truth about something and then the other person would start to not look as interesting to me. I'd start to criticize them and I realized, oh, I'm criticizing them because I'm withholding some truth in here that I'm not telling the truth about. And so that was kind of wake up number one. And wake up number two was I wasted a tremendous amount of energy in relationships blaming the other person. Then the other person would blame me and I would blame them and we would be in these recycling blame games. And I realized, okay, there are two things, telling the truth and blaming, I could actually make a commitment to doing, to telling the truth, and I could make a commitment to taking responsibility when things come up, because there's no law that says when things come up I have to blame. I could just as easily take responsibility. And I also realized that uh, creativity was a big issue in relationships. Like if neither one of us were being creative, then we would start blaming the other person. So I made this vow to the universe. I said, universe, I want to manifest a new relationship if it's in the books for me to do that, if it's in the cards. But I promise you this, I only want a relationship where both people are committed to telling the truth and both people are committed to taking responsibility and both people are committed to their creative path. And that's what I want. And I promise you, I'll never settle for less. And I'd like you to send me somebody like that, uh, if possible, but I won't settle for anything less. So, the next month. So, the next month, Gay was um, giving a course at the place where I was getting my, uh, my PhD. And I knew right away that I wanted to go to this. And I didn't know why, but I just knew I had to be there. And then, at the beginning of the, the group, there were about 50 of us in this big room. and. Gay was across from me and he was looking around the room and I could see he was checking out people's energy systems and I found this very interesting because I could do this but I'd never seen anybody else who could do it. And so he went past me and then he came back and we had this timeless recognition of each other that was really... <laughs> Uh, you know, it just established everything. And uh, then he started talking, went around the rest of the circle, and then he started talking and I thought, this is the funniest, most brilliant man I've ever met. Mm -hmm. And that was my first thought. And then at the break, I went up to ask him something, and I started to open my mouth, and to this day, I can't remember what the question was, because he said... I said, um, <laughs> you know, I've, I saw you across the room, and I felt very attracted to you, and I'd love to ask mm -hmm. you out to have a cup of coffee or something, uh, but I also want to let you know <laughs> about this big thing that just happened to me. I realized that... I only want to have relationships where both people are committed to telling the truth, and I only want to have relationships where both people are committed to not blaming but to taking responsibility when things come up, and I only want to be in a relationship where both people are committed to their creativity. So I don't know if we're going to just have a cup of tea or something together or spend the rest of our lives, but that's how I want to do it, and on those terms, would you like to go out with me? And... It took me about 15 seconds, because here's what I heard. I don't care what you're doing, I want you to drop it all. I want you to come away and have this adventure with me. It's going to be the most amazing thing that you've ever experienced, so how about it? So it took me about 15 seconds, and I said, well, how about lunch? Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> and uh, I'd actually heard a little bit about her. I didn't know who this was until yep. this moment, uh, but uh, she was already a fairly famous um, dance movement therapist in the community there in Northern California, and I'd heard little references to her here and there, and I knew also that she was the movement and therapy instructor there at this uh, PhD institution, the Institute for Transpersonal Psychology. Uh, but then it all connected up um, when, I, uh, when I finally met her, who she was. And so it was really thrilling there to find out that she was, you know, kind of did exactly the same kind of thing I did. And because it was always a dream of mine to work with my partner. Mm -hmm. That always seemed to me the perfect life, you know, because if you never had to talk about anything other than what you most wanted to talk about. You know, that seemed to be like a dream come true. And, and there's really no difference between uh, work and play. It's really all the same thing because we're doing what we love to do. Mm -hmm. And that's really what we decided. Uh, and I also, I think the most important thing that has really made our relationship work was that from the very beginning, we focused on what we wanted to create mm -hmm. rather than what was wrong or what our histories were. We really focused on here's what we want and we don't have any idea how we're going to do it but mm -hmm. we're fully in. We're going to create it, do the best we can to create it and that's what we kept coming back to over and over again. 